In this question, we're shown four situations with five evenly spaced particles. The center particle has the same charge in every situation, but the other four charges are different for each situation, all having either a positive or a negative charge of E, the elementary charge. We are asked to rank the situations according to the magnitude of the net electrostatic force acting on that middle particle. Since we're focusing on magnitude, ultimately it won't matter whether the center particle is positive or negatively charged, since Coulomb's law tells us that the magnitude of an electrostatic force is dependent only on the magnitudes of the charge anyway. Therefore, what we really need to calculate here is how the charges on either side of the central particle interact with one another. Now, right off the bat, we can tell that situation number four down here will have no electrostatic force at all. These two uh, plus E particles will perfectly cancel each other out, uh, since they're equal charges at equal distances from the central particle and charged the same way, so they oppose each other in the direction of their force. Same with the two outer negative E charges. They have equal charges, same signs, and are at equal distances from the central particle, so they cancel out. Whenever you're trying to determine multiple charges' net effects at a central point, the first thing you should do is look for signs of equal charges with symmetry, since those setups will cancel each other out. So, uh, force uh, 4, I'll call it F sub 4, has zero charge meaning it's probably the situation with the lowest charge. We can apply this same general idea to the other situations as well. In situation 1, these outer negative charges will cancel out. Uh, these inner charges in situation 2 uh, will cancel each other out. And in situation 3, none of these charges cancel each other out. In fact, in situation 3, these negative charges will be pulling the center particle to the left, if the central particle is positive, and the charges on the right will also push that central particle to the left. If the central particle is negative, then those forces will be reversed. But whatever the charge of this central particle is, all four charges in situation 3 help each other in propelling the middle particle in either direction. So we can already tell that situation 3 has the greatest magnitude of force. We still have to rank situations 1 and 2. Both of these situations have a single pair of opposite charges, but remember Coulomb's law. Electrostatic force between two particles is inversely proportional to the distance between them, so if the particles are closer, then the force they're exerting is stronger. From this, we can infer that the electrostatic force due to these closer particles here in situation 1 will make the net force in situation 1 stronger than in situation 2. From all of this, our final ranking is that 3 is the greatest, that's greater than 1, which is greater than 2, which is greater than 4, because 4 has a force of 0. And that is our ranking of these electrostatic forces.